A second summit between the United States and North Korea is on the agenda. President Trump made the announcement during Tuesday night's State of the Union address. John Lawrence has more. President Trump says the U.S. is focused on a historic push for peace on the Korean Peninsula. If I had not been elected president of the United States, we would right now, in my opinion, be in a major war with North Korea. President Trump will meet with his North Korean counterpart February 27th and 28th in Vietnam. Much work remains to be done, but my relationship with Kim Jong-un is a good one. Despite that claim, there's new, potentially troubling information coming about Pyongyang. A U.N. Security Council diplomat said a confidential U.N. report found that Kim's regime is hiding nuclear and ballistic weapons from possible U.S. strikes. The more they disperse it, the more confidence they can have that their assets may be able to survive the initial stages of a conflict. The two leaders met in Singapore last year, where Kim agreed to work toward complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. But so far, there's no concrete proof the regime is taking steps in that direction. Experts say that's why the stakes will be higher for this second sit-down. This is an opportunity to reduce tensions and to really change the situation in Northeast Asia. I'm John Lawrence reporting.